shoes. Oh, man. Do you ever feel your elbows just to see if they feel the same? Like I got like something like poking out over here. What is that? Break down that green. I had to get up early. Bad mood, aggravated when trying to be worried. You know how to twist it. I suggest you start learning. <laughs> What's up guys, RNG here from the Stone Vet USMC, happy Wednesday Man, hump day, guess what, holiday's coming up 4th of July is around the corner Super excited, it's a long weekend for us federal employees Some of you guys probably not, you guys probably have to work Throughout the 4th of July and everything else and the third and the fourth and the fifth. How you guys doing this Wednesday? This is the new Marine Corps Wednesday. My wife said that I don't need to be giving you guys any Marine Corps knowledge because I am okay, a Marine Corps. Okay, you can give them so, some knowledge. Just don't make it boring news. She said I give boring news is what it is. He, or you just, it's just boring. I don't know, boring. dude. I, it, I figured I'd give you I'm guys some I'm the mean wife. I'm the mean wife. I'm mean. I figured I'd give you all some wrinkle knowledge and know what's going on in my core. You can, but, but you got to be excited about it. She says it's got to be more, more personable. we yeah. got to be more personable got to be more couple. personable. I didn't say I was a couple before. You brought that in. <laughs> so I decided to bring the beautiful Miss Summer with me to make this more, clean my bedroom. more personable, right? I know you guys love seeing Summer up here. She says you guys don't, but I think it's a lie. I think he says that just so that he guilts me into coming on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of changing 42 diapers and he's like, come on with me. It's been a crazy week, man. It's been a crazy week. Have you guys been watching the news, man? There's a lot of crap going on right now. Mr. John McAfee. If you guys don't know, you probably have his antivirus on your computer. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. But he committed suicide, apparently. Just like Epstein did. Same reason, too, dude. He was about to expose a lot of people and he apparently committed suicide in Spain which was crazy I thought I was like oh and they even says his, his fiance wife she was a prostitute apparently from what I read a working woman a sex worker she was a working woman a sex worker she was a sex worker and she even said he wasn't suicidal what was that one guy that they said committed suicide but it was like a gunshot to the back of the head that's one of the Clintons doings and then it was like the gun wasn't even by them and stuff. <laughs> that was one of and the And they Clintons. were like, what in the world? Y'all yeah, um, remember that. We call it suicided. He was suicided. So Mr. McAfee was suicided too. He was suicided because he was about to expose some story. people, man. I don't and know anything about it. I'm just sitting here. I don't know. I was like, oh. I didn't read up on this yet. I said, if you guys are in politics, you guys better watch what you're watching and not try to get into stuff. Dude, then. I'm like, just... Just let me have my farm. Just let me here by myself. <laughs> so you my guys, kids. if you guys are, are, are into politics or you're in the political world or you know people in the political world, I would definitely try to limit your exposure with them because you could also be suicided. <laughs> you know, it, it's crazy. And then, and then the whole thing with the with the Florida disaster that happened, that the hotel that collapsed. I don't know, if you start digging into, you'll find some conspiracy theorists out there about some things with this McAfee thing. I didn't want to dig into it. I saw some things and I was like, huh. I'll tell you what, if the government wants to cover something up, they're going to cover something up. That's what I feel like. Like she, We were just talking about this the other day. She's like, we will never know. Well, he asked me, he's like, what do you think the distraction is with COVID being on the rise again and all this stuff? And I was like... You could guess all day long, and we'll never know. We'll never it's know. just like everybody in the military knows. When civilians find out the things that happen to keep America safe, sometimes they're appalled. And it's like, well, freedom isn't cheap. It's and not. you like sleeping in that safe bed at night. So sometimes we just don't understand or need to know the things that happen behind closed doors in my case not not all the things i'm not saying bury your head in the sand and i want to be like a communist country nothing like that i'm just saying sometimes some things happen there are there's a lot and that we will never know or 
that we don't really even want to know. For no, me. absolutely. There's so much. Like you guys that are served, you guys understand the the crap that has to be covered up in order for us to do our jobs while we were served. See, and I'm just like, I don't even need to know. You got all these people like trying to investigate and stuff, and I'm just over here trying to eat my cheese and all my lactose intolerant, <laughs> minding my business. I'm like, Meh, but whatever. it's true. It, it's true, guys. <laughs> I mean, the 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 the, the, the like I said, this fr in two weeks, next Friday, I got Adam Dorito. He is. I a, like his last name. His name is Dorito. Well, like I like do Doritos. Like I like Doritos. But not Doritos. Dorito. D E Rito. Yeah, but that still reminds me. Of but he's, he's got an 11 year lawsuit against the government because of what the Air Force done to him. Yeah, that's different, though. That's what they did to him, and he needs to go after it and not just. Right. Because he like, was. Because I've been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been listening to his podcast, The Dark Saber, and he talks about his story because he was raped. That's awful. Men don't, he was see, raped. He was a man that was that raped. A lot, though. No, and that's one of the things because he has a lot of. You know, he has a lot of. Uh, uh, officers, people mm -hmm. who are going to school to be officers, mm -hmm. and they're talking about this story of how they were sexually harassed and sexually oh, abused. Oh, I think it happens a while, lot. While in school, a OCS lot. and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And I believe it. I mean, they, they think they have all this power and all this, they can do all this stuff. And he, Well, the funny mm -hmm. thing is, when I, when I did the interview with Adam, he's even told me, he's like, the military is their own entity. Like they don't fall, they have their own rules, their own regulations. Like they don't fall under anything that's out there for like civilians, mm -hmm. like us as civilians. We have our own rules and regulations, but he's like the military. He said even the politicians won't touch the military because of the well, rules and regulations that are in it. Scratching each other's yeah, too, though. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of dirt, man. It's, it's crazy out there. So just to think like McAfee suicided himself in Spain, in the Spain prison. Well, we don't know. Like Epstein, we don't know. That guard was sleeping. That's his first night on the job. Well, first night on the job, he was tired, and he wasn't paying attention to this high-classified individual. He was eating his Doritos. So, I mean, that, and then, so there's he that. He said that, and. <laughs> there's that, and then there, there's the whole building collapsing in, in Miami. But they proved that building was jankety. It was in 2018, but they said it was still livable in 2018. It's 2021 How is now. it still livable in two, just two years? I don't know. And That's it what I'm collapsed trying to like out. that. It wasn't livable in so, 2018 if that whole building collapsed. What do you guys think the government's hiding from us now? But you don't know that the government's hiding anything. Well, now there's a new strain of COVID out. Delta and Delta Plus. So if you guys got your COVID shots, hopefully you can... Hopefully, it will last you during the Delta and Delta Plus regime right now that's going on. Regime? I, I know here in Oklahoma, it's going up. It we, is. We've like gotten crazy. up, I think we're it up to a nervous. thousand cases now already. Yeah. In Oklahoma. I uh, was just starting to go outside with my kids. Right? California just banned people. So, if you live in California and you're watching this, you guys can't go nowhere. There's like four states. Your governor, your governor, your governor said that you can't travel to but you can go places they just said those four states four states florida is the one of them i didn't even read what the other ones were because i thought it was that hilarious that sad. I a go governor is going to tell me i can't travel somewhere but how would they know that's what I'm, i don't know i mean they can tell you whatever they want but how would they know i don't know but that's what they're saying that like you can't travel anywhere you know but would you want to travel somewhere where it's all crazy i mean i would i would want to take my kids I'm staying there. home i, I wanted anywhere. to take my kids to disney world I'm going to watch how this goes. We, we got to see where it goes. We haven't booked our trip yet. We're supposed to be booking it for Christmas. Yeah, we wanted to take So we got to see. Where, we don't even know if it's worth it. Well, it's not worth it if I'm going to get my kids sick. Sick like, and stuff, right? You know, I wouldn't. And, and I'm not even just talking about COVID. I, we've got preemies. I try to be. Extra safe. It just, yeah, with flu or anything. Anything. It's I not mean. just just that. Like, he got our, one of our 27-week-old baby. He got RSV couple months after he came home and we were safe so that's when we started watching church on facebook because we were like oh yeah so, no i'm just saying like i just try to be safe for that i don't know guys yeah. hopefully hopefully you guys don't need a booster shot for this COVID. right now thing. they said you don't right now you don't but they but don't so many they don't even know though out. yeah there's so it's many like different the flu variants. like there's so many variants i just don't know if they'll have yeah to have so boosters. that's gonna be the biggest thing right now to come out with man mm -hmm. and then and then now this heat wave apparently is taking over the country. 
I sat, it's sad for you guys out on the West Coast, up in Seattle, Portland, mm-hmm. Northern California. I think they said it was over 13,000 acres that are on fire yeah, right now. Lee, that makes me so sad. It's horrible for you guys, man. But it, a and apparently lava it's a fire. Squir- that a sounds lava like fire. a nightmare. A lava fire. And it's scorching, apparently, so over there where, where it's usually nice and cool. That's so scary. It's That's like so 100 scary. and plus degrees, and the guys are going crazy. Same on the East Coast out in Maine, New York, Boston. Yeah. They're saying it's like 108 right now. I just feel like which is crazy because I'm here in still Oklahoma, stuck on the lava fires. Here in Oklahoma, right now it's 79 degrees, which is like insane. Low. It's crazy. It's never been this low before. Like yeah, it probably has. It may have, but I mean, for right now, for the summertime, it's usually <laughs> it's 105, usually 110, maybe. Well, then get up to 110. It does in Oklahoma. Yes, I'm looking. That Look would be record. Up. No, it's got hotter than that. 110. We yes, are not like that. It's stupid. No, it Iraq like, is like 140. It gets like a hundred. It gets up to one. It gets up to a hundred. If it was up to one hundred, you better look it up. I'm looking at you guys. Look don't it up. Don't believe him. Look, call it. Call her out, dude. Just because she's call a woman, don't mean, okay. don't mean that she's always right. That's what you think because you're a marine. <laughs> I had to call him out today already. It's, it's That's why it's like you want to be arguing man. and going out there. He tries to like debo everybody out of the way debo anybody out of nothing you had a hot sauce fit i did not have a hot sauce fit man the hot sauce incident the hot sauce (laughs) incident it's been crazy dude it's been crazy here we've been doing like i said we're still trying to get our house ready for sale we just got information that it's gonna be january (laughs) our house is never gonna be built i think they said january it will be done our house was supposed to be done last december then march then May, then July, then October, then they told us December, and then they're like, well, maybe January, January now. I don't, I don't think we have until a my day. until my foundation is broke. I'm not even. I don't even know. It's like, but I still have to do stuff to this house anyway. Yeah, we got stuff. I've been get. living out of boxes for a year. It's done. It's I'm freaking I'm over. I just it's started redecorating my living room. We yeah we are we got a new bed. We got a new couch coming. Yeah, I was like, I gotta go. I'm hanging pictures back on the wall. Um, I bought it's a insane, new rug. Man. I'm tomorrow. Well, probably not tomorrow, but this weekend I'm putting stuff back in my kitchen cabinets. Um. We I'm gotta done. figure something out. We we gotta. It's made me sad. Going. It sucks. It's, it's, it's made me pitiful. so sad. It's horrible. Except now I gotta do school out of bins. Yeah, it's because I homeschool my kids. You know, it, it's not fun at all. And then now we we've picked up we've picked up counseling now, man. Like any good couple should do. Like you guys, if you guys are hey, married, it's like a tuna. or you guys, or just if you guys yourself. are by yourself, if you don't see a counselor already for everything that you're dealing with in life, because life sucks. Life can be really hard. And life can be really hard at times. If you're not already seeing a counselor, I mean, just for ourselves, like we've been married 21 years. You guys no, know we that. haven't. We've been together 21 years. Okay. <laughs> we've been married. I damn years. felt like twenty married 21 years. It's felt like 59. <laughs> but it, we're getting we're getting our tune up done. We are getting some things that are need to be that need to be mashed out, right? Even like, if you're having a good time, sometimes it's good to just go to, to go a see counselor. a counselor. Go see a counselor, right? Mm-hmm. Just to make sure you're you're on the right track and you guys are meeting your goals that you are expecting of each other. You know, getting the needs met that you want for each other, and then you have that mediator. That's the mediator there to help you guys communicate. You know, if you're like us, I don't like talking. I brush that shit under the rug and wait till it comes back out. And it comes out ugly. <laughs> ugly. <laughs> But it, ugly, and it can be. It can, it can yeah, because not, it can be you guys it know. Is. You guys know. You guys sweep everything under the rug too. I don't want to hear it. You guys do the same crap I do. What do you mean? And the women, the women are just like you guys don't ever talk about shit. I just feel like I don't even know. I just feel <laughs> like you just want it to go away, and it doesn't go away. And I told him I was like, you know, when you're married or you're in a partnership, that's supposed to be your battle buddy. And if you keep throwing grenades in the foxhole and expecting me to just put out all these these bombs and these blasts, and I'm by myself over here limbless, and you're dancing up on the hill, like, that crap can't happen too long. See? That's, that's done. So I gotta get a mediator, right? I don't need a mediator. I need a car and to run him over. <laughs> if he was rubber, let me just say, I won't do it because he's not rubber. But I feel like I wish I was magic because I'd make him rubber like that and then I would just like beat up on him and it wouldn't hurt him, but I'd get out on my anger and then I'd make him not rubber again. Well, maybe. Maybe one day. 
<laughs> Maybe one day. one day. But this is why we this is why this is why we ourselves are going through counseling right now just to make sure that I can fix where I fucked up. Like and the cussing, guys, y'all. Whoa. And <laughs> I can fix it and we can get it out of the way so it can be something else that I screw up. We don't really talk about the cussing. <laughs> I don't want you guys to be like, do they really talk about that? <laughs> and we talk about both sides. I do not go in there and yank off his balls and put them in a trophy case. It is not like that at all. Okay, now I will. He's shaking his head yes for those, but that is not what happened. I'm too freaking nice. She is. Like, She's way, way too, too nice. nice. She's way too nice, man. But I mean, you guys need to make sure you guys are getting the, the medicine you need to help heal the remedy. Get, you find your remedy. Find what it is that can help you continue living in this life finding your purpose again getting the right counselors to be able to talk about what's beating you up because that's the last thing we want is the demons to win right the demons keep winning we keep seeing it and it's always on on everything and another thing is y'all need to stop creating messes that attract those demons and then being pissed off that y'all are stuck in a mess dealing with those demons that you invited over for dinner so sometimes counseling is good to figure out what we need to do to change some habits that we have positive thinking like I'm a Christian so it's prayer positive thinking med meditation like those things are important and if you're not a Christian then meditation is still really good and reshaping your thinking pattern neuroplasticity it's huge you can literally watch your, your brain reshape itself and your immune system go up and your, I mean, just your thought pattern creates a positive environment if you're looking for those positive things. So I just think that's important for everybody, especially now. We're all going crazy. Yeah, we've been on quarantine and everything else, and it mm -hmm. looks like if this Delta and Delta Plus pick up like the other ones did, we're going to be back in quarantine again for the winter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you guys need to you need to find your remedies. You need to find mm -hmm. your medicine, whether... Healthy remedies. Healthy remedies, like healthy cannabis. Remedies. Always healthy. Jogging, running, be Whatever. one of those crazy adrenaline junkies, mountain climb. Yeah, you can be a, a freaking. Do some, do some. Something that interests you. Whatever interests you, go dive into it and run with it. I like this thing that said, I'm not afraid of dying, I'm afraid of not living. And I think that that's really important. Absolutely. You know, and I think it's a lie. People say, you only live once. Well, for me, I tell my kids all the time, don't buy in that. You die once. You live every day. And when you change that thought that thought process of you only die once, that's what's final. You live every single day. So get up every single day and go out and find something new. And if Monday was crappy, we'll get up and make Tuesday better. If you fell Tuesday and Wednesday, do it again. I mean, but remember that you just, you, you die once. And don't be afraid to die. Be afraid to not live absolutely absolutely man appreciate you guys hanging out with us on this wednesday coming to chill and listen to our nonsense and our craziness mm -hmm. and everything else that's going on in our lives because we crazy because we, we got a lot of kids we got know. a lot of kids you guys have no idea what we doing none <laughs> it's just to find time to carve out of the day to be able to do this for you guys to be able to come hang out and listen to us and hang out with us man i want to thank my sponsor rafa 180 that's me for hanging out with me today and providing the very best medicinal grade CBD on the market man if you ever want to try CBD or thought hey CBD don't work for me man you guys are wrong it's a it's it's great medicine to help with that mindset right like we were talking about getting that mind right pains aches body aches All body pains asthma allergies. anxiety depression I take asthma it for anxiety it's Bomb it's great, right? And if you guys are like, oh, it's never worked, I guarantee you it has. I can you just help you. She Rafa one eighty says she can help. She can help get you That's in the literally why I started. on the right dosage so they can help you treat the demons that are attacking you on a daily basis, man. Don't forget to check them out at Rafa180.com. 
or even their Facebook just page. Just go to Facebook. I probably going to start interacting with y'all. She's going to have to start interacting more so you guys can see her on there. She's a, she, she busy. She got a bang of kids. A bang. <laughs> and school's about to start. So you and I know. homeschool them. Yep. I got multiple grades. Multiple grades, man. Homeschool kids are busy. They're busier than public school kids. We're running around like freaking... <laughs> Absolutely, man. Don't forget to go check out BTT store, oh, man. Yeah. Look, check out the swag, man. Look at that. We both got it, man. Go over there and support them because remember, they said a portion of their proceeds goes over to what is it called, man? You guys know Suicide? I don't 22? know what this is off. Except it says Monday and it's not Monday. And the show doesn't come out on Monday. It comes out on Wednesday and he's making me wear it and it's Tuesday. Because it's trash talk gear, right? We're supposed to be supporting trash That's talk. That's the only reason I'm wearing it. A portion it. of the not proceeds, like I said, a portion of the proceeds help eliminate the twenty two a day. That's man. why I'm wearing it. This is why and we it support feels really good. this is why we're supposed to support our, our 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 veterans that are out there, right, man? Go check out the store. Like I said, you go over to raffle18.com and get 15% off, man, your order. When you check out with VTT, get 15% off your order. And guess what? Those proceeds are going to go back to help help control the, the 22 a day that we continue to lose every day, man. Thanks for hanging out with us on this Wednesday, man. Like I said, the show will be out all over. Veteran Trash Talk, the Stone Vet USMC on YouTube and any audio platform where you listen to the Stone Vet, man. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us, man. Remember, hit the Stone Vet. We got you six. But it's only to ease my pain Want me to love life I'ma need two ears to the brain Real for great soft in my lungs I'm real with this, it ain't a game We just smoke and maintain